Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to make a dual wall fitting out of a piece of scrap dual wall pipe that I have here. Now I'm going to be using a chop saw to cut this pipe in half and get the angle that I need in order to make the fitting. So I'm going to make a 45 degree fitting out of this piece of scrap pipe. So we're going to cut this pipe at a 22 and a half degree angle. That way, those two halves, once you put them together, will equal a 45. Now, as you can see in this clip here, I have a few different cuts, and the 45 is gonna be those two small ones that you see laying next to the hacksaw. Now, once you have your cuts the way you want them, you're gonna go ahead and clean off any excess plastic or burrs that are on the end of the pipe. And you're gonna wash these pieces of pipe in water and use either a degreaser or you could even use some Dawn soap. You just wanna clean the pipe enough so it doesn't have any kind of dirt or grime or grease left behind because we're gonna be heat welding these two pieces of plastic together. And whenever you heat weld plastic, you want that plastic to be as clean as possible. So that's what I'm doing here. I have the fittings in the sink and we're gonna kind of just clean them off and give them a spit shine real quick. Once you have your material all washed off, go ahead and align the two sections of pipe into your 45 degree angle and put a small dot on either end of the pipe. This dot is gonna serve as a placeholder so you can go ahead and drill through the plastic with a small drill bit. Now, the drill bit that you're gonna be using, it only needs to be big enough for a twist tie to fit through. If you don't have a twist tie, you can also use a piece of wire, any kind of wire that you have laying around that's small and that can twist together and hold is the best thing to use. Now, I use twist ties because they're cheap, they're free, and they do the job. So I'm making the hole right now with the drill bit and I'm going to be getting the twist tie and putting it through one end of the pipe and then aligning the other end of the pipe and twisting that twist tie together. Essentially what you're doing is you're just creating a small stitch on the pipe to hold it together in the 45 degree angle that you're creating. That way when you heat weld it, it'll be held together in the angle that you want. Go ahead and repeat the same process on the opposite end of the fitting and create another stitch. You're only gonna need two stitches. You don't need to put stitches around the whole entire thing because that's overkill. You just need a stitch on either end to hold this fitting together while you heat weld it. Now I'm gonna be using this heat gun with a metal cone on the end to help concentrate the heat into a finer point. That works best when you're dealing with small four inch dual wall pipe, but the larger the pipe, the larger the diameter, you're gonna have to use a larger size heat gun in order to heat weld it together. It's like say you're working with a 12 inch dual wall or 18 inch dual wall or 24 inch dual wall, you're gonna have to use a larger size heat gun in order to make that connection. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off this excess wire with some wire snips. That way it doesn't get in my way as I'm heat welding these two pieces of plastic together with my heat gun. Once you have that excess wire trimmed off, just go ahead and tuck in whatever's left into one of the seams of the pipe. It's not gonna be a big deal if it's there. You're just gonna heat weld right over that and seal it within the plastic. Now I'm gonna be using a piece of scrap from a single wall corrugated pipe to act as my weld. Now this is HDPE plastic, but it's recycled grind material, meaning it comes from water bottles, it comes from food containers, basically anything food or FDA approved is gonna be HDPE plastic, but it's recycled material, especially if it's coming from one of the big box stores. But it's not a big deal because we're gonna just be using that as the weld for our HDPE dual wall pipe and it's going to weld right into that plastic and it'll make a good solid connection. Now get yourself some good welding gloves because you don't wanna have a heat gun just blasting into your fingertips and into your thumbnails. It doesn't feel very well. And you're gonna to have to also use this glove to push down on the plastic. Essentially, what you're gonna be doing here is you need to keep moving that heat gun back and forth. You don't wanna concentrate that heat gun in one area for too long. If you concentrate that heat gun in one area for too long, you're gonna to start to melt the plastic down too much and it's gonna to start to burn and it's gonna open up. It's gonna make more fumes. It's gonna be a mess. 
and it's just it's just going to burn the plastic so you want to make sure you keep moving that heat gun around and keep pushing down on that weld with your your fire retardant gloves that way that plastic can slowly bond into one another now another thing that i have found that helps out a lot while you're doing this is angle the heat gun up underneath the weld that you're using and the fitting that you're creating that way you can kind of get an even heat on both of them and as you push that plastic down and you're forming it with your fingers where you want it to go it melts and it fuses the two together now it's kind of a tedious process it does take a little bit of time but once you start getting the hang of it you can actually go pretty quickly and you can make a pretty good weld doing it this way once you have finished with your initial weld, if you end up with a small seam or hole in the end, just go ahead and use another piece of plastic and repeat the process to cover over this area. Now you can also take this time to go around the fitting and do touch-ups on anywhere that it might need it. And you can add additional plastic to strengthen areas in the seam if need be. The plastic will just fuse together if you repeat the process. Whenever heat welding HDPE plastic, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Do this type of work either outside or with multiple fans running with windows and doors open so that the fumes can exit. You do not want to be breathing these fumes in. Whenever plastic burns or melts, even if it's only melting slightly, it's giving off fumes and those fumes have toxic chemicals in them and you do not want to be breathing those into your lungs. You cannot tell in this video because I had the sound off, but I had a few fans rolling and I had the door open so that those fumes could escape. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you gained some knowledge from watching it. And like I said earlier, you can use this process on any size dual wall drainage pipe to be able to make custom fittings and angles for whatever the project is that you're working on. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports us. It supports the channel. And until next time, this is Arrow GS signing off.